Today on this auspicious occasion, some of the remarkable achievements of Tripura, I am very happy to share with my brothers and sisters of Tripura here today. The first, while talking of strengthening the democracy, we must remember the Tripura Legislative Assembly election 2013 took place in a single phase on 14 February 2013. The voter turnout at first stage was recorded as 93.57 percent, which set the record for the country's highest ever voter turnout. This beats the previous record of 91.22 percent, which was also set by Tripura in its 2008 assembly election. Not only that, Tripura state has been rewarded only yesterday by the election commission on the National Voters Day, and the award was handed over by the Honorable President of India to the state of Tripura yesterday in Delhi for conducting the electoral affairs in the most peaceful and orderly manner in the whole map of India. Secondly, Tripura has recorded significant success in Sarvasitya Rajya Vijan as on January 20, January 1, 2014. Tripura is the most literate state in the country with a literacy rate of 95.16%. For higher education, infrastructure of existing general degree colleges at Dharmanagar, Pajasrahar, Patikroy and Udaipur is being strengthened. One Polytechnic Institute at Pulkumai at Udaipur has also been operationalized from this year. Other distinctions that Tripura State has been received, has been able to achieve, which I would like to share with you, my fellow citizens of Tripura, are recently Tripura was conferred a prestigious award for state governance. And it is the governance of the state which is most important in democracy. Because ultimately, the success of democracy or any institution for this matter will depend whether delivery has been made, delivery for which the nation was created, for which the Republican democracy was adopted. Delivery of the fundamental and basic needs of the people and their creation, the dominant aspirations of the people. Unless delivery is made, form of government may not be very important. Delivery is the gap of the matter. Because of failure of delivery, one of the two poles of the bipolar world, Soviet Union, that the best governance in the country award was given to Tripura, not by the government of India or any official agency, but nevertheless by an elite publishing group of India Today. You know what is India Today? It's a publishing house and giving their thoughts and analysis very eloquently and positively from Newton. That group has identified Tripura as the best governance in the country. It is governance that makes delivery to the people, to the citizens. Thirdly, 
the state has been able to have it, state of Tripura has been able to have its own separate high court of Tripura at Agartala last year after successful persuasion with the union government. All these years, the northern states had a common high court of Gauhati. After so many years, after today the 60th year of our republic, so after so many years, it was thought very appropriate to have separate high courts, independent separate high courts. In three capitals we have it now, Agatala, Silong, Magalaya, and Imphal, Manipur. Other three states, Mizoram, Orunachal, and Nagaland might be having in course of time. A drug and another very important thing, it's a very modern thinking and modern way of looking at things. Adoption and spread of SRI method of petty cultivation. This method of SRI petty cultivation, as I know, originated in the island of Madagascar. And now it has been widely accepted in many countries of the world. In India, Tripura is being one of the first. And I don't know in many other states this method has not been adopted, not to speak of spreading in larger areas. SRI method of petty cultivation in Tripura, in more areas in Tripura has been a very profitable and encouraging feature in agricultural sector in Tripura, together with promotion of organic farming in local aromatic rice and local aromatic moon. Having supplied to the farmer with quality certified seed for effecting a quantum jump in production. Then another factor for which we should feel very proud is the fact that for maintaining ecology